get ready for a game-changing way to use the chart. Now, let's dive right into it because you're going to get extremely excited about what we're going to do here. And just watch closely. This uh, says adding images to the chart. So we might be giving away exactly what's about to happen, but we can click copy image. We can return to the chart and we can paste. And now the image lives on our chart for as long as we want with many different settings, including the visual order. Do we want it at the front or do we want it at the back? Uh, you know, whichever uh, order we want it. The point is this is a brand new feature that you are going to love and in this video, we are going to show you all the different ways to use this new tool to really create the perfect workstation for yourself. So we're going to delete this and start over. Now we're looking at a chart of the S&P 500 and pretend for a moment that we are more of a long-term investor or long-term trader. So we're going to add a moving average to our chart. Uh, here's moving average. And we're going to double click the moving average line we are going to change this to a 200-day moving average. We're also going to make the line a little thicker. Uh, we're also going to change the color to orange, or let's do uh, let's do teal. And we're also now going to make a uh, horizontal line here at the lows, and perfect. So we're now reminded of the lows of this cycle. So from here to here, so far the low. So what we've done is we've zoomed out. Here's 2021, 2022, 200-day moving average horizontal line and what we're doing is just creating a workstation that fits our style perfectly so let's go to an interesting tweet from the trading view account this says the top 10 most profitable companies in the world and if you look you can see the most profitable companies we're going to right click and copy this image we're going to head to the s p 500 chart and we're going to paste it and now, if you see what we're doing, we're almost creating our own whiteboard for financial markets. We have our view of the S&P 500. We have a moving average. We have a reminder of the low. And now we have some fundamental metrics that remind us of what actually drives the market, the most profitable companies in the world. So we can keep this image here. We can click save. And now we can always come back to this layout with a crisp reminder that these are the largest companies generating the most profit. Now we can go back to our uh, Twitter feed here. This is the TradingView Twitter account. Here's another tweet that was quite interesting. This says mortgage rates have gone parabolic. Now, if you recall, mortgage rates are how users, or sorry, not users, people uh, buy uh, homes. That's how they finance homes. So we're going to copy the image and place it on our chart again. So now we have a pretty cool reminder of exactly what's happening. We have uh, uh, the, you know, the most profitable companies. We also now have a, a visual of mortgage rates. And you know what? We're not done creating our own canvas here. We actually want to add one more image, and that is 106 years of stock market history. So we'll copy the image, head here, and paste. So look what we've done. We have a beautiful reminder of the most profitable companies. We have a long-term view over 100 years of Dow Jones Industrial Average trading right here. And we have a reminder of what, where mortgage rates are at. So we've created our own financial whiteboard that we want to keep in mind for the duration that we watch the S&P 500. We click save and this is our layout. We'll come back to this layout every single day on the S&P 500 and we can watch it with this context in mind. So now that you can copy and paste images on your chart, you can make your own dynamic charts just like this that are way deeper and uh, uh, far more uh, uh, you know, expansive than just price action. Now here is the blog post, so please head over to our official blog to learn more. If something, you know, if you're finding, if you're looking for more information about copying and pasting images, there are some walkthroughs on our official blog. You can see here, uh, there's a there's a cat on this example, which is amazing, by the way, because you can also make memes, have some fun out there, capture a picture of your cat, of your dog, of Elon Musk, whatever it is, and paste it on your chart and just. 
uh, take your chart now to, to truly another level. So one more aspect we want to talk about before we hop out of here is a reminder of the images that are allowed on the chart. So you can kind of see that there are some limitations. You can't just take the largest image on the web or on your computer and paste it. It has to be under a certain size and it has to be under a certain resolution. Please, please, please keep that in mind. Addition, there, in addition, there are many different ways to add charts to your, or add images to your chart and control the way they're featured. As we mentioned, you have a visual order that you can control so that you know they're shown on the chart in a specific way. As an example, if this is over the S&P 500, you can see when we move our mouse away, they're now sort of, uh, uh, you know, it's behind the uh, price action. But if you double click, uh, you can go to visibility and you can also change how it's shown on different time frames. In addition, when you right click, you can change that visual order. So you can actually bring it to the front. Watch what happens. Click, bring to front. Now notice how the S&P 500 just never shows. So if you're trying to create a sort of chart that always demonstrates the price action, no matter where the images are, just make sure to always send them to the back and you'll always be able to see at least price action. Hover your mouse over the image and you'll see it. Hopefully you now understand how that works. One more quick thing is you can upload images from your computer. So if you are doing a complex financial analysis, say in Excel, or if you're doing a, a other forms of your own analytical research that only you can perform in a software program that's not web-based, you know, you have to save that image to your computer. Well, click image. See this image button? You're going to head over to your text tools, annotation tools, click image, and when you select choose image, you can upload that image directly to the chart. So the adding images to your chart feature is uh, pretty robust, has many different use cases from creating your own dashboard or whiteboard for all things investing and trading, or even as a reminder, just to have some fun, throw a cat up there, a dog, whatever it is, and uh, start memeing because there are plenty of people around the web who will probably get a chuckle from the images that you can make. And as always, if you want to share them, take a snapshot. You have your little camera icon up here and you can save it. So if we, for example, thought that this financial layout was so interesting that we wanted to share it with our friends, clients, colleagues, or on social media, we could save this as an image and uh, then do whatever we wanted with it. Send it to any social network. Uh, as you know, there is a tweet uh, image here as well. So you can send it to Twitter in an instant. Nonetheless, we hope that this video did one, th one really important thing, showed you how you can add charts or add images to your chart. More importantly, we really are excited to see how you all use this feature to create new layouts that previously were not possible. So the world is uh, your oyster and please, if you make cool layouts, tell us, write us in the comments, tweet us, send us pictures on Instagram, uh, even record a video on YouTube and try to get our attention. We're so interested in seeing the way everyone creates their own layouts. For example, this one reminds us of profitable companies, 100 years of price action and mortgage rates. So we have sort of this visual of what's happening uh, in, in global markets or uh, in the world of fundamentals at any point in time. So thanks so much for watching. And as always, please send us your feedback. We look forward to hearing what you have to say about this new tool.